So this is a tutorial on how to use email activation to register users into a database. Um, basically what the user has to do is uh, sign up using their email address. They'll be sent an email with an activation link. They'll have to click this link and once they've clicked this link they'll be able to log in. Now I'm going to run through in this first part um, the files I'm using, the way I've programmed this. and. Um, then in the second part, we're going to uh, continue and actually code this up ourselves. Now, I'm not going to be coding up everything because it's a simple uh, login uh, register script, which I already have a tutorial on. So basically, we're just going to be focusing, if you can see the files here, we're going to be focusing on the um, actual login itself um, and the activation process itself. Um, the registration process does come into it. Obviously, we're, we're inputting... Um, more specific things into a database but I'm just going to be working with these files now the reason this is a change of scene is because I'm using my um, hosting to do this my phpacademy.info hosting um, as we're going to be sending email out it's a lot easier if you have your own hosting uh, to send email out uh, to an address okay so let's get started um, now the first thing is I've got the global.php file I'll just run through this quickly now basically all this is is we've got an OB start which lets us use headers even if we've used uh, text before headers you may have got the um, errors before uh, cannot modify header information this eliminates this however it has to be at the very top of your script and we're going to include this in every single page we're using so as long as we've got OB underscore start um, that's basically going to help us out we've got our session start because we're going to be using sessions when we're logging in and we've got our connect to the database pretty standard two functions one to connect and one to select the database um, I'm using uh, my username and password here it's obviously a temporary one I'm not going to give away uh, sensitive password information but yeah this is basically our global header um, that we're going to include in every file we use okay so the next thing to note is we've got um, our index um, and register now index contains the login script if you just I'm going to pull this up here you can see we've got a username and password field um, you can try logging in uh, here with the username and password and we've got pretty standard functions um, otherwise if you're going to log in with a username that does exist um, obviously at the moment I haven't activated my account but um, this is pretty much how it's going to work so we've got index.php which logs us in right here and then we've got our register.php which I'll just grab up okay so we've got choose username, choose password and email and the way this works is you choose your username you choose your password, you enter your email address, there we are, and what this does is it then, when you click register, it sends um, an activation email, and then uh, you obviously have to activate that by email. So um, I'll just show you how it works, if we click register, ah, username already taken, okay, so alex1 password, and there's my email, click register. Okay, you have been registered successfully. Please check your email. It gives us our email address in brackets just to let us know. I'll come to my Hotmail, and there's the email just there. Click on that. So it says activate your account as the subject. Hello, Alex1. You're registered and need to activate your account. Click the URL below. Okay, so I'm going to click it. Your account has been activated. You can notice that what I've done is if we then refresh this page, it tells us that we've already activated our account. So let's come back to our login page. And I'm going to type Alex1. I didn't show you what happened if you if you don't activate, but obviously it gives out a message. And then click that. And then you're logged in. And then you can just log out. So it's pretty uh, functional. You can incorporate this into your website. Uh, the register process, the login process are pretty much standard to what you may already know. Um, just with the added um, bit of the extra checks and the extra things we're going to be putting into the database and obviously this activate.php file is the most important what it does is it does take the uh, unique code that's input next to the record in the database and then it compares and then sets um, this active field to one um, just here if 
the user has clicked this and there is a valid code. So our database looks somewhat like this. We've got our ID, which we're always going to use in auto increment to keep track of um, unique records. Then we've got a username, we've got a password, which is um, a varchar32 because we're using MD5 encryption. Um, and we've got um, our email address, obviously this is quite important, not so much to store in the database but we're going to need this to um, send the email out. Then we've got the code which is where the code is stored um, until the user activates, I mean it's stored there forever really but um, it needs to be stored in the database for comparison reasons. And then we've got active which is a tiny int which is either a 1 or a 0, obviously 1 would be that they have activated their account, 0 would be that they haven't. If we just browse this database, I'll show you some example data. We've got that Alex that I tried to log in before. You can see that active set to zero. That's why it wouldn't let us. And we've got Alex one, which I've recently um, registered and activated. And we've got active set to one. So the code here um, will always match this code here because this is our get variable here. So six four two two blah blah, and then we've got six four two two blah blah. So um, it's it's, it is a pretty simple process. You've just got to have um, a using uh, a login and register script already set up in place, and then you're pretty much good to go. Um, you might find it helpful to recode everything just to make things simple. But for now, I'm just going to show you the actual email activation process, not how to create the login and register script. So um, that's probably it for this part. Um, in the next part of the tutorial, we're going to start with um, showing you how to code up the. Uh, activation activation process so i'll see you in the next part